Hello guys, in this video we are going to take a look how we can programmatically start an Appium server within our script so we don't have to go into our terminal, uh, start Appium from here, and then once we have Appium started, then go back to our script and start our script. Okay, this is kind of tedious. Right, every time we need to run a script, we need to manually go and start the um, the server, which is not good. So, in this video, we are going to bypass this step here, so we don't need to do that. Okay, let's go to our script, and this is just basic uh, script to start or to create the driver. So uh, all it does is just creates a driver and then quits. So uh, to do what we need to do, we're going to need two more things in here, okay? We're going to keep all this stuff, but we're going to add two more things on top of it. Uh, we're going to create some arguments for Appium Home, and we're going to use System uh, to get environment for our Appium Home. And then we're going to add some stuff on top of it. Uh, basically, this is the location of the Appium JS. Okay, so, and mine happens to be here. All right, so, and for this to work, you also have to have Appium home environment variable set, or this method here will not return anything. So make sure you have Appium Home set on your system. Uh, next thing, we need to have Node Home. And for me, Node Home happens to be within, uh, within Appium Home. So I'm just going to do the same thing. I'm going to get Appium Home environment variable, and then I'm going to add uh, my node executable in here. So my node executable is within the same directory as uh, my Appium. And if you downloaded um, Appium from their website, it's going to be the same way for you. So next thing we need to do is we need to have a host. And for me, host is just going to be the standard one. Uh, HTTP and that's 127 my loopback um, 00 0.1 so <clears throat> that should be good um, let's see what else oh actually I do have a host already never mind yeah we got a host right here um, so those two things and then another thing we're gonna need is to actually create our driver service and driver service is going to be the one that we are going to be starting to start uh, Appium service. So we are going to uh, create a variable. It's going to be driver service, uh, call it service. And we're going to create new Appium service builder. Okay, now we are going to start building our service. Um, first thing we need to tell our service builder is where our node.js is. So we're going to say using driver executable new file and we're going to point it to node home. The next thing we're going to do with, uh, we're going to tell it where to find our um, appium.js. So we're going to say with Appium.js also, we're going to reference a file here, so we're going to say new file, Appium Home, and then we're going to pass in our um, IP address, so we're going to say with IP address, and it's going to tell our uh, service where to start, on which IP to start. Um, you don't have to do that if you want to start it on the regular IP. I believe you don't have to specify this. So, uh, but for the purposes of just knowing that you can do it, let's do it. 
uh, and we have our host and uh, this argument just takes uh, plain IP so that's why we're going to split our um, our host here and take the uh, second value uh, from the array and the next thing we're gonna do we're gonna say which port uh, we're gonna use so using port and then the port number which we have right here <clears throat> next thing we're gonna do uh, is build this okay so let's build it now we have our service and that's great let's see if we can start it so to start it we're gonna say service dot start and then when we're done with everything let's stop it so service stop now let's see if this actually works uh, let's run it go to main run and I have my guinea motion here to see if it starts anything and yeah it looks like it's working okay it pushed the unlock apk up created driver and then killed it immediately and killed the server as well so as you can see i did not have my server started here so this is very convenient now we are missing some things okay um there are not enough um, arguments here for example like if I want to say create a server for a specific device or if I want to specify a log level or something else uh, that's not available here I mean sure we do I mean uh, the way we can do it is with an argument right so we can say uh, with uh, with uh, with argument and then this guy here takes um, let's see what what does it take. It's gonna tell us what it takes. With argument, it takes a server argument. Okay, um, server argument. Now there are some general server flags that you can use, and actually the log level is here, but it's very limited on uh, which arguments are here. So those are the ones that are available by default. But what if you're missing? You want a different argument. So let's create a custom class that actually going to uh, do that for us. So let's leave this argument in here. Let's go back to our Java. And let's create a class that's, let's call it arg. In this class, we're going to implement uh, server argument and this is going to be enum and let's just implement methods that are in here and this needs to return something right it needs to return a string so let's create um, a string that is going to return um, and the way we're going to do that, we're going to create a private variable. It's going to be final, and it's going to be a string. It's going to be called arg. And uh, next thing, we are going to um, create a constructor uh, called arg. And then this is going to take a string. It's going to be called arg. And then we're going to say this arg equals arg. Okay, and then in this method, we're actually going to return this arg. Um, now, we need to create our uh, flags, so so to speak, custom fla flags or custom arguments. So uh, the way we're going to name them is timeout. And I'm sorry, guys, I'm going really fast because I'm kind of late for work right now. <laughs> um, now, we're going to... Uh, this timeout is going to pass in an argument as uh, minus minus command uh, minus timeout and this arguments you can actually find online like which uh, which arguments appium server takes so and just you can create those based on that that's basically what I'm doing here and then we can do log level uh, the same way whoops actually this is this is done 
this way. <clears throat> log level, so it's just minus minus log minus level. Uh, that's the way this is done. So now to reference those, we go in here and we say arg uh, log level, and then here we can specify the level we want to use. For example, let's do warning. Uh, now, when we're going to use warning, we're not actually going to see this info because this is a lower level and everything that was out printed over here on the screen is all lower level. Okay, so actually when we run a script now, we're not going to see anything um, in the console here. Now, next thing, oh, actually before we run this, let me just de demonstrate that this works. Um, like over here in this debug outprint, we see our host or we see our IP that we used. Now, if we use with argument arg, uh, let's see, timeout, and we set a timeout value, for example, 420 seconds. So, meaning if we don't have any commands come in for 120 seconds, then Appium is going to shut down automatically. Uh, so remember this line here. The only thing we have is the IP. Okay, now when we run a script, this is actually going to put the timeout in there as well as an argument. Okay, let's let's go back here. See, now we have our IP and then here we have our uh, timeout argument. Now, if we are going to run it with this, we're actually not going to see any output at all. So let's do that. Open our guinea motion. It's doing something in the background. We just don't see it. OK, there we go. It started driver, and then it quit, and it stopped the service. So there you have it, guys. Uh, that's how you start Appium programmatically. Thank you guys for watching. Make sure to like the video, subscribe, and share it. Take care. Have a good one.